pieces of amber can contain the fossilized remains of prehistoric insects, insects that are millions of years old and that fed upon the plants and flowers of the ancient earth. But sometimes an amber chunk is cloudy and you can't see inside it, like this piece of amber that David Grimaldi is holding. Or the insect is rare and you wouldn't just slice into it. How do you see the insect then? Well, one way is to visit the European Synchrotron Radiation Facility in Grenoble, France. The facility uses as much power as a town of 20,000 to propel electrons around a circular track. Electrons with 6 billion electron volts circulate in a storage ring 844 meters in length their speed almost matching that of light. The byproduct, high-powered x-rays. Thin x-ray beams of tremendous brilliance. It can be leveled at insects locked inside amber to yield 3D renderings of incredible detail. Carmen Soriano is even using these x-rays to peer inside an insect's exoskeleton, into its stomach to see what it ate. Paleontologists, we work with very old materials, but we are very keen on new techniques. So by looking inside the smallest gut of a bug, it's possible to know something about the ancient world where it fluttered and scurried.